Hey everyone! I wasn't going to be making a video today, but this just came in the mail and I couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, this is where it came from. Uh, it was someone I didn't know and another guy's name here, like I don't want to show his whole name. And it was from California and I hadn't, I don't think I'd got anything from California recently and I didn't know what it was. So I started to open it up, I ripped this thing off right here and I was like, what is it? I don't know. And I'm, I'm, there's no paper or anything in here, but uh, finally I found this little piece and I started to rip it open and I'm like, it's a, like a 1-6 scale Velociraptor kit like I ordered a long time ago from Gene Models, but I'm pretty sure he's in Italy or the company's in Italy and this is from California so I had no idea what was going on, but anyways that's why it started to rip open because uh, I didn't know what it was, and I, I'm still not sure. I'm, gu I'm guessing it's from G Models. I guess maybe he shipped it to California and they shipped it to me. All right, so here's the story. I paid for this. I pre-ordered this in maybe around, like, definitely in, in 2015. I'm th trying to think of the month. Probably, like, July or August of 2015. I pre-ordered this. And it was supposed to come to me in uh, October of 2015. And it never came. And I think a few months later, after October 2015, I might have asked him on his Facebook, where is it, or somewhere, you know, I, I tried to talk to him and he's like, oh, it's coming. I'm like, okay. So I waited even more months and it never came. And then I think I went on his Instagram I asked him there, and he was sending me private messages, like, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it, it, it takes a long time, it's resin, I have to make each one individually, and I'm like, okay. And if you look up Gene Models on online, like, pe people talking about it, all, everyone says that he never sends the kits, and uh, you never get it, and he's a ripoff, but... Uh, uh, apparently, I just got it, finally. It's been about, not two years, maybe like a year and a half. Uh, but, you know, it's 2017 now. But uh, it's here. It, I got it, and that's fine, I guess. I mean, I've, I've been doing other things, so I didn't really, like, need it fast. I was worried. I, did, I was thinking about getting my money back very recently. Like, I just... Uh, left a comment on someone else's picture of a Gene Models thing, like, oh, I ordered one and then never got it, and they're like, I got my money back, so I was thinking about get, trying to get my money back too, but now I don't have to, because here it is, and I hardly had to do any complaining, and I didn't have to try to get my money back, but it looks really cool so far. Um, let's, let's take a look at the parts here, our fingers, look at the really nice scales. The detailing is great, there's like maybe just a couple things that need to be touched up, but I was just reading about resin kits a few minutes ago before I made this video, and it says that uh, resin kits commonly have to be touched up, they're not as usually good as um, plastic kits. They do need a little bit of work to make them look perfect and to put them together. And uh, I can't build this right now because I don't have the proper glue and putty and stuff. I mean, I guess I could get, go get the glue, but the putty, I'm not sure where I'm going to have to get that. I might have to order some, you know, stuff to fill in the cracks of each piece when you put it together. But this is super cool. It, when I pre-ordered this one, there was some other guy making, like... Um, what do you call it? A 3D model. What is it called when you, uh, the, you know, the plastic extruder kits. And, uh, I, I was always worried about that because, you know how they have a weird texture? But this doesn't have a weird texture. This looks like, uh, smoother. It's not all weird and bumpy like, like those, uh, those, those, uh, kits that squeeze out the plastic, the melted plastic, and make make it yourself. I forget what it's called, I'm sorry. You know, the, that thing that everyone's doing now. 
But uh, anyways, if you can see, this is, this is a pretty big dinosaur. Um, let's see, I think this is the tail. So, like I said before, I can't put this together right now. I mean, I can hold the pieces together and kind of show you how big it is. But I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. I mean, I just did, I, I think I need like, like squadron putty or something, or I forget what's called, or the green putty. I used to have some, but I don't, I'm not sure where it is. And even if I could find it right now, it's probably not good anymore. Like I think if you're gonna build a model kit, you need putty that's not 10 years old. So uh, I'm going to have to order the proper materials and stuff to build this and of course I'm gonna have to get some paint too. I think I'm gonna build it first before I paint it because when you put this together you have to fill in the seams and you don't want to do that when it's not painted I guess. I mean I don't think that's how you do it but anyways there, so there's no paper or anything in here. There's no like instructions but I didn't really expect instructions because you know, it's, it's a resin model kit and basically you just use the proper glue and you glue it together and you paint. You don't really need instructions for that. And there's only like six pieces, I think. So it's not like complicated. But you do need to know what you're doing in this. And I've never built a resin kit before. I've built lots and lots and lots of plastic kits. Uh, you know, the kind you get everywhere, like in hobby shops and stuff. But I've never done a resin kit before. So this is going to be a first one. And it looks like it's going to be awesome. It's really big. This is the main body. Okay, look at the size of it. I hope I didn't mess up the head when I was jabbing it with the scissors. Because I, th I think I kind of went like that. But, anyways, here is the head, and wow, it's, it's kind of pink inside. I mean, I'm going to repaint it anyways, probably, but it kind of... There's definitely some pinkish color in there. Like, this would look really cool, even if you didn't paint it. Or maybe if you just leave the mouth. But the, the teeth need to be painted, you know, they need to be, like, shiny and stuff. But this is so cool! The detailing is superb. I can't wait to paint this. Like the scales are beautiful. The sculpting is perfect. I love it. Uh, I like that there isn't too much of a seam right here. I might I might have to go over a little bit. Like right there, that needs to be cut. But you know, I think when you get a resin model kit that you're expected to do that, you're expect you have to do some work on it to make it uh, your own design. Like, like you could even cut the arms and angle them differently and then glue them. Like, you could pose the hand more like like that, and you just do it however you want. But anyway, so here, here's how that goes together, and then you can see there's a, a pretty noticeable crack so that needs to be filled in with putty but uh, this is really cool and big let's see where is the leg I don't know if this is going to fit in the whole picture all right so there's a big tab there and a big hole there uh, that might need to be cleaned out see there's like a weird little thing right there I'm not need to be like sand that or something cut that with a exacto knife but uh, this fits pretty good. Look at that. Yeah, when you push it together, it goes. That's really nice. That hardly needs any fixing, but it does need to be fixed because you can see it. So let's see. This is quite a large model. Is that the right arm? I don't think so. Yeah, it has to be. All right, so. Anyways, as you can see, this is this is really cool. Uh, I don't have enough hands to 
hold it all together at the same time. But uh, I'm going to kind of set it here and let's see if we can move the camera a little bit. Alright. So it goes, sorry, it goes like that. Great. Right here is some scissors for comparison. And it's about that big. It's it's very it's very long. And uh oops. It does have all the parts and it's very cool. Alright, so this was uh just in case you were wondering, this was I believe $150 unpainted. You know, this color, not like all um, stripes and spots and all that. And uh, it was like $60 shipping. Because I think the actual company is in Italy. So he probably shipped it from Italy or some wherever he is to California. And then they shipped it to me. But uh, I did, I got it. I got a Gene Models kit. Can't wait to put it together. Thanks for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.